So, I recently did 100 Nucleus runs, and actually really enjoyed them. I learned many strategies along the way, with one so powerful that allowed me to clip into a structure, and I figured I would share those with you. I was eventually able to get my best time down to 1 minute and 8 seconds using all of these strategies, which is pretty ridiculous compared to runs that didn't use specifically one of the strats that I do. While making this video, I realized that I am still being ratioed by my worst enemy, my own Discord. My Discord is literally 3,000 members higher than my subscriber count. Like, what? So, if you subscribe to help me ratio my own Discord, I would greatly appreciate that. Now, back to the video. So, I'm going to quickly go over how to do Nucleus runs before I get into optimizing them. If you're an experienced player with them already, I'd skip this section. A nucleus run is when you collect all five crystals from the five main structures in the Crystal Hollows, Jungle Temple, Mines of Devon, Goblin Queen's Den, Kaza, Doom, and the Precursor City, and place them in the Crystal Nucleus to receive a loot bundle, which can reward some of the most essential items for mining. To get the Amethyst Crystal, you are required to give a jungle key to one of the Guardians, and then do a parkour to receive the crystal. To get the Jade Crystal, you are required to retrieve four different lost tools from the bottom of the Mines of Devon and return them to their respective keepers, which will then award you with the crystal. To get the Amber Crystal, you have to talk to the Goblin King, who is in a separate structure, give him three goblin eggs of any type, then, using his stench, infiltrate the Goblin Queen's palace and grab the crystal. To get the Topaz Crystal, you simply have to kill Bao, and then you get it. Finally, to get the Sapphire Crystal, you have to give Professor Robot all six automaton parts, and he will then let you into a room which gives you the Sapphire Crystal. So, there are quite a few things that you need for Nucleus runs, which will cost about 1.5 million coins per run, which, if you do enough, will be made back. You need the automaton parts, Devon tools, jungle keys, and goblin eggs. It sounds pretty straightforward, though. You just find a lobby with all the structures, tunnel between them, and slowly do the runs. However, there are the optimizations I mentioned earlier. The first one you'll want to do is getting the Devon tools before you actually do the Nucleus runs. This makes it so that you can set up a lobby specifically for getting Devon tools to get them faster, rather than having to do them every single run you do. How you do this is you find a late day Crystal Hollows lobby, then find the Mines of Devon. The reason you want a late day lobby is because you want the gold in the Mines of Devon to be mostly mined already, as it is much more efficient to grind parts if the floor is entirely empty. You'll then want to dig out the whole bottom area of the Mines of Devon, down to where the floor is the first layer of hardstone below the gold. Dig out beneath all of the pillars, around the outer rim, and under the structure itself. I'd recommend digging up about two blocks as well because it makes movement and teleporting a whole lot easier. Once you've done this, then you want to build pillars where the chests that you get the tools from will appear. When you first do Devon tools, it may seem that they generate completely randomly, but this is actually false. Treasure chests have about 35 possible spawn locations that stay the same relative to the Mines of Devon in each lobby. So what you can do is use the Colwait Chat Triggers mod, which I have another video on, to import waypoints to all of these spawn locations. Simply go to the top middle of the Jade Crystal boundary box and run the slash Colwait Chords command, then select the Devon option. Now that you have the waypoints, you build pillars right under where the chests will spawn. Make sure that these pillars are the correct height so that the chest spawns right on top of the topmost block. Now, with the Mines of Devon fully mined out and the pillars set up, you can start getting chests. There are a few stupidly useful mods that use the distance you are away from the chest and its possible spawn locations to tell you exactly where your chest is with a waypoint, and the two I use for this are Soupy and NEU. Soupy is by far the superior mod for this, but sometimes it comes up with two possible locations, and sometimes NEU will tell you which one of those is the correct one. It really doesn't happen that often, though. I'll leave links to both of the discords for these mods in the description. After all of that, you may be asking, well, how do I collect Devon tools if it only gives me one set at a time? Well, the answer to that one is really simple. Just store the tool sets in backpacks and you can keep getting sets without ever placing the Jade Crystal. Keep in mind that you can't have the Jade Crystal and still get tools, so if you have it, you should do one Nucleus run to get rid of it. Getting Devon tools is by far the hardest piece of prep, unless you're an Iron Man, and takes about as long as the Nucleus runs themselves. The rest of the stuff is pretty easy though, the automaton parts you can buy from the auction house, same with jungle keys and goblin eggs. So now you have all that you need to do a bunch of Nucleus runs, but how exactly should you be doing them? 
well, I try to find a late day lobby once again with all the crystal structures in it. Keep in mind that some of the time the structures, most commonly the mines of Devon and Precursor City, won't spawn due to conflicting with other structures, so you really want to check if a lobby has every structure you need before setting it up. As for setting up, what I do is connect all of the structures with tunnels made from bob bombs. Since bob bombs explode such a large radius, it makes it really easy to teleport through the tunnels, and it's much faster than running. I usually do Nucleus, to Mines of Devon, to Jungle Temple, to Nucleus again, you'll see why later, and then to the Goblin Queen's Den, then to the Precursor City, then finally back to the Nucleus. Wherever Bal is, I just make a detour for it between the structures. For the Mines of Devon, you just take out your Devon tools, turn them into the Keepers, and grab the Jade Crystal. The Jungle Temple is not nearly as simple though. What you do is, before you even make your tunnel to it, you go up to the leftmost guardian, give them a key, then take the coordinates of where they are standing. You should then add 61 to the X value, take away 44 from the Y value, and add 18 to the Z value, and waypoint the resulting block. This block is where you can cheese the Amethyst Crystal to not have to do the parkour at all. The Jungle Temple parkour used to be by far the most time-consuming crystal, and greatly lengthened Nucleus runs. The trick I'm about to show you can shorten it to about 5 seconds. Anyways, this coordinate is a block that is directly under the Amethyst Crystal. If you go under the temple from the outside, you'll see that it's encased in bedrock. What you can do is you can place one block under the bedrock, like I'm showing on screen, then ride an armadillo and bring it on top of the block. Since the armadillo is only one block tall, it can fit in this gap. Then, you want to start jumping. You'll see the amethyst crystal, but you can't grab it because your head is in a block. So, you navigate over to a pocket of air, then grab the crystal. If you have access to the Crystal Nucleus Warp Scroll, then you should dismount your armadillo and use that, but if you don't, simply get off the one block and dismount. Then, you should proceed from the Nucleus to the Goblin Queen's Den. If you didn't warp to the Nucleus, just use a tunnel from the Cheese Spot to the Goblin Queen's Den. The Amber Crystal really doesn't have a very complicated optimization, but it's just that the King's Scent lasts for 20 minutes at a time, so you don't actually renew it every single run. Basically, you only go to the King when the guards start kicking you out again. For the Sapphire Crystal, there really isn't any optimization at all, just buy, or if you're an Iron Man, grind the parts beforehand so you don't have to every run. You don't even have to put them in backpacks or anything like Devon Tools. If you are an Iron Man grinding parts, I've left a link to an automaton root in the description. Finally, for the Topaz Crystal, which you'll fit into the root wherever it spawns, you basically don't even need to kill Bao. For some reason, the way Bao works is that when it's respawning, in which it won't attack you or anything, you can still claim the crystal for some reason. You can also despawn Bal instead of killing it to trigger the respawn animation again. So basically what you do is you make sure that no non is killing Bal, run away to despawn it, run back into the structure, claim the crystal, and get out before Bal respawns. Then, if nobody respawns it fully, you should never have to despawn it or kill it again. This essentially skips the entire intended way of getting the crystal, which is killing Bal. This is also the reason for having a late day Crystal Hollows lobby, because it ensures that you have the least chance possible of a non coming in and respawning it. One last thing for Nucleus runs is that claiming commissions during them is actually quite good. Still not meta for Heart of the Mountain experience, but from my experience I can get around 2.4 million mining experience per hour, and around 120,000 gemstone powder per hour. It's a really nice addition, just make sure to equip your Silverfish for mining experience or Scotha for gemstone powder when you're claiming the commissions. Or you could level a pet if you really wanted to. Also, I have a video about what I made from a thousand Nucleus runs coming eventually, but I gotta say, if you're doing this for profit, you are going to be sorely disappointed. When I did a hundred runs without including the Quick Claw I dropped, which with normal RNG you won't, I profited only about 30 million coins. Anyways, I think that about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and enjoy doing Nucleus runs.